is wrong. You're changing. Yes, you're changing for what? The good. Yeah. The word of God came to Jonah and he said, go to the city of Nazareth and preach against because the wicked had came up against me. God instruction of the word by the flood in Genesis 6 and 7. He instructs the same thing in Saul and Gomorrah in Genesis 19. He threatened to destroy Nazareth to show them there's no limit to sin. Say amen. How many of us know that there's a destiny, that's a call in our life, but your friend can go out and drink, but you can't because we can do so much, but we can't do a certain percentage. Yeah. Amen. You might can go out clubbing, but I can't. You might can drink that wine or that, but I can't. Because I know I'm being held accountable more than you because I know better. Say so, amen. Yeah, Jonah said, no, I ain't going. What we do, we try to run. Jonah went and got on a ship. I understand you got in the car or got on your buddies or plane, but he got in the ship. How many know God controls the seas as well? Jonah got on the boat and he sat there and he paid his fare and he sit there like nothing was wrong. I'm going to Tarsin. I'm going to know what God say. I'm going to run. I'm going to keep running. He's not going to find me there. Say amen. amen. The word said that the fact of narrow sin had become so serious was confirmed by the king. The king found out that Jonah was coming. He knew a prophet was coming, but he didn't know who was coming. So what he did, he sent out a deed, said, any man of beasts 
at this time, get in your second part. Because the anger of God is upon us because our sins, our weakness, say amen. We have done so much and God said, hey, I'm sending my prophet. Back in the days that when God sent a prophet, people were scared. People were so furious that they were shaking if a prophet come up too. But now there's no respect for the women of one of God. Say so, amen. When somebody come to you, give you the word of God, your leader come and say, God said this and God said that. And you will not receive it and let a stranger come and tell you the same thing. You will receive it. Why is that? Why? Because that's the one. Your leader is the one, the one is praying for you, is the one that intercedes for you, and you will go out and give them all your money to the stranger, but not support the woman or man of God. So you may. Oh, I hope I ain't stepped on nobody's toes, but anyway. Hallelujah. Jonah went there, and hallelujah, and it said here, but the Lord sent a great wind into the sea, and there was a violent tempter in the sea. So the ship was about to be broken. The major was afraid. Each man cried out to their little gods, little G, and they cast all the good that it was on the ship into the sea to lighten the ship. How many know that any time that God is, you trying to go against God, you cannot escape. Because who else around you, there's going to be so much Place. There's going to be so much trouble around you until God get who he want in your inner circle. Say amen. If you go through with a friend, if you with five people, and every time you turn around, something bad is going on. Because somebody in that group is running from God, and God will make things happen until you get lined up with him. Say amen. Amen. That's the word called decent and in order. Hallelujah. And it said here that Jonah went down to the bottom and fell asleep. Yes, yes, fell asleep. How many of y'all know that we have calling and anointing upon our life and we are running and things are happening to people around us? We will not say a word because we know that it's God. Because if we say something, they could be mad with us. Say amen. amen. 